intro. Hello, my name is Mayana. And I'm Stacy, and welcome to MMS Nooms. Remember, we're focusing on the character traits of MMS, and this month's character trait is citizenship. Citizenship means be about being informed, responsible, and caring participants in your community. Go to the MMS News website and fill out the survey to see your name scroll across the bottom of the screen. We can't wait to see what kind of citizenship we have here at MMS. Now we go to our first story of the week, our MMS News Girl, Megan. Hey guys, it's me, the MMS News Girl. This week you need to know that there is no school Monday or Tuesday. Unless you have conferences, then you have to come to school Tuesday with your parents. On the 20th, we have solo ensemble for those of you in chorus and band that are participating. Also on the 26th, student council will be holding a dance, so go dance with your friends. I don't know. Okay, so this week for the joke is going to be a pun from Rachel Melanda. Here it goes. The guy smashed his car and he found out his Mercedes Benz. Remember to email me your jokes or puns at mwall760 at d15.org. See you next week on the mess and remember to shake it off. Next we go to the book thief, Sydney, with another illegal story. Hello, MMS. Today's book is Michael Vey, The Prisoner of Cell 25. This book is a bo about a boy named Michael, and his story is very strange. Everyone thinks that he is just an ordinary 14-year-old boy, but he is electric. He has friends, Austin and Taylor, but they soon realize that some people have similar powers, and someone or something is hunting them. Michael's mom is kidnapped and he has to rely on his wits, his power, and his friends to find his mother and save others. Will Michael find his parents? Read the book to find out and keep thieving, MMS. Here's a story with Matt about Deadpool. Oh, I love Deadpool. I don't. Hey, MMS. I am the comic collector. This week I have a superhero that is very well known in the comic world. He is known as the Mur Merce with a Mouth. Deadpool's real name is Wade Wilson. His first appearance was in New Mutants, 98 and 1990. His early life is mostly unknown. His mother died of cancer when he was young, and his father was very abusive to him and died because one of Wade's friends shot him. Wade began his mercenary career and still, while still in his late teens, accepting assassination jobs only against those whom he felt deserved death. He made a habit of plastics, using plastic surgery and technology to take on a new identity whenever he failed an assignment. He worked with other heroes like Cable and Spider-Man for a price. Some issues have him saving the world by himself or by one or two others. An example is Deadpool vs. Thanos, which is a four-part miniseries. However, he loves to work solo. The comic has many funny quotes and events, and, and the movie is coming out soon. It's coming out very soon from our movie, coming from our movie guy. That's all for now. See you later. And remember, what Wolverine does isn't very nice. Now we go to Orion with a story about the gods of Egypt. Hi, I'm Mrs. Me, and I'm back with an awesome movie. This week I'm reviewing the movie Gods of Egypt. The movie's about when Seth, the god of darkness, takes over the throne of Egypt and throws the kingdom into chaos. Only a few rebel, but one of those few is a young thief whose girlfriend was like kidnapped by Seth, and she's and he's like trying to get her back and kill Seth with the help of Horus, the god of the sky. This movie looks really awesome. Anyways, happy Valentine's Day, MMS. Bye. Homero is up next with some Super Bowl commercials. Up your monkey video. Hey, MMS, it's Ian and Homero here. And today we're going to talk about our top three Super Bowl commercials of 2016. Just to take note, a Super Bowl commercial costs $4. million just for 30 seconds. Number three is Puppy Monkey Baby. This commercial shows a puppy monkey baby thing that gives three guys soda. This ad is for Kickstart. Number two is a Buick with Beckham Jr. This commercial is sponsored by Buick the car. She Odelled it. She Odelled it. Totally Odelled it. She was out of bounds. I can't believe OBJ is at this wedding. And number one is a Marvel Coke ad. There's, there's some commercial Ant-Man sealed um, Hulk's Coke, and he obvious, it's obviously sponsored by Coca-Cola. Well, that's it, MMS. I hope you enjoyed. Peace. Bye. Now with a story on the NFL, we're going to go to Matt. Hi, it's Matt, the sports updater, bringing you the update on Players of the Year. The player who got Offense of the Year was Cam Newton. 
his very first. The Defensive Player of the Year, J.J. Watt. This is his third. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Todd Gurley, the third. Defensive Player of the Year, Marcus Peters. And the Coach of the Year, Ron Rivera. Last but not least, Walter Payton, Man of the Year, to Aunt Queen Bolden. He established the Aunt Queen Bolden Q81 Foundation in 2004 with the mission to expand the education of underprivileged children. In 2014, he and his wife, Diana, announced a $1 million pledge to escalate the impact of the foundation. Thanks for listening. Now back to Stacy and Mayana. Cole is up next with the NBA. That's basketball. The NBA. Hello, MMS. It's Dion and Cole. And today we'll be talking about the NBA. So on Sunday, the East and the West burst each other in the All Star game. And uh, then the next games, regular season games, uh, are on Thursday. And the first game is the Jazz versus the Wizards at 6 in Washington. And the second game of the night is the Chicago Bulls against the Cleveland Cavaliers at 7 at Cleveland. And the final game of the night are the Spurs versus the, the Clippers at Los Angeles at 9 o'clock. That, that's the rest of us. Bye, MMS. MMS. Up next is the Top 10 with Madeline. The Top 10 Songs of the Week. Hello, MMS, and welcome to the Top 10 Songs. I hope you all had a wonderful week of school, but if not, that's okay, because we have a four-day weekend. Anyways, now for the Top 10 Songs. The 10th song of the week went down on 5, here by Alyssa Cara. No more, oh God, why am I here? Oh, 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 yeah. The 9th song of the week is a new song, I Am by A Well Nation. The 8th song of the week is back on the list, Same Old Love by Selena Gomez. Oh, that same old love. Oh. The 7th song of the week is a new song, Lay for the Party by Shawn Mendes. The sixth song of the week went up to Roses by Chain by the Chain Smokers featuring Roses. The fifth song of the week is a new song, My House by Florida. The fourth song of the week went down one, Hello by Adele. Taking my time on my ride, ride, ride. Oh, oh, oh. And the top song of the week went down eight. Me, Myself, and I by EGZ and BB Rexa. It's just me, myself, and I. So long. The top ten songs of the week is brought to you by Madeline Simo. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend and see you in two weeks. Bye, MMS. YouTube is fun, so here's Lily. Hey, Lily here, but you can call me a YouTuber. I know, I know, I'm having a bad hair day. I don't care. Today I'll be talking about Threadbanger. They test pins and a ton of other things. They have 2,153,850 subscribers. They joined YouTube on March 2nd, 2007. They post a video every day. Overall, Threadbanger is an amazing YouTuber. They always have great new content. If you have any suggestions, email me at lasmus298 at d15.org. That's it. So long and good night. This is YouTuber making sure you're liking this, and see you next week. Bye! The Celebrity Spotlight is next with Kaylee. Hey, it's me, Mikaya. And Kaylee. And here's another Celebrity Spotlight Challenge. Remember to guess the celebrity after the six facts. Congrats to Liz McCourney, whatever, and Gian for guessing Al Chapel. So, our character was born September 4th, 1981. Um, she or he is a famous singer and actress. Our person's first singing group was with their cousin and her two classmates. In 2008, our person got married to a famous rapper. Our person has a daughter. Thank you for watching. Um, and Gmail us who you think it is. 
at kaker391 at d15.org and mkiddo802 at d15.org. Bye! The makers are up next! Hey MS, it's Summer and Kelsey. We are going to show you how to make this cute and affordable foam charger. So first the materials you'll need. Mod Podge, clear nail polish, glitter, paintbrush, and tape. How you make it is... First make the tape and wrap it on the metal so you don't get anything on the metal. Next take the Mod Podge and apply it to the base of the charger. While the Mod Podge is still wet, sprinkle some of the glitter on it. When it dries, put the clear coat on top of the glitter. And voila, you have your own DIY phone charger. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week. Out. The interview is up next with Mr. Shevchek. Okay. I am interviewing Mr. Shevchek today for my teacher Hi. interview. I'm Mr. Shevchek. <laughs> uh, how are you doing today, Mr. Shevchek? I feel great. It's the end of the day, so I'm a little sad, but we're going to move on. <laughs> Let's carry on. Okay. What's your favorite science book? My favorite science book? Well, that's easy. I brought a few. Let's spread them out. One, two, three, four. So we have lots of science books here that I like, and I have a bunch at my house in McHenry. What's your favorite animal and why? Well, I love elephants, and I brought one with me. His name is Jumbo. He's my friend. Explain the 16 rule to those who don't know. We do not date or think about dating until we're 1, 6, 16. Why? Why? Because it's not good. Why? Well, because we need to focus on school, parents, step-parents, and science. <clears throat> What's your favorite holiday and why? I like Halloween because it's fun. <laughs> do you have any kids or are you married? Uh, I do not have any children and no, I'm not married. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> when and why did you start teaching? Well, I started teaching because, well, I thought it would be exciting to change lives and to um, help students believe in themselves and make a difference in the world. Is it what you expected it to be? It's actually better. Tell us about your accident that you had. September 16, 2008, about 308 p.m. driving from my house, Walgreens intersection, on a motorcycle, lady pulls out in front of me, bam, there I go. Hospital, 30 hours. Stitches in the arm, two broken ribs, bruised lung. Helmet saved my life. Done. Helmets save lives. That's why I'm doing this interview right now, because of that helmet. Next. What's something you want to tell your future seventh graders? Make sure you're focused on what you need to do with your life and make sure that you're paying attention in science class and that you understand how important that education is for you. It's for you, not your parents and step parents, not your teachers, you. That was Thanks for watching, I'm a mess. Be sure to drop in next week. And always remember to dab out the haters because you are wonderful. Divas out. Oh, that's right. About a week ago, the Super Bowl. <laughs>
My favorite commercial? Mm. Mm. I probably like the... I really like the hot dog and the ketchup ones. Yeah, the hot dog and the ketchup. Yes. I don't remember that one. Yeah. Uh, the little hot dog dogs, and they were jumping into the arms of the ketchup people. Is that... <laughs> I think that's your imagination. No, that happened. The hot dog dogs. Look it up. I don't, okay. YouTube it. No, I can't forget this evening or your face as you were leaving. But I guess that's just the way the story goes. It's hard to resist great taste. Meet the ketchups.